and we are recording. Okay, first is, is safety gear because uh, uh, oxalic acid vapors is very dangerous. Uh, if you want to scare the grandchildren, ask grandma to send the kids out in the garage to see a giant ant. Okay, uh, why, don't, why don't you explain to us uh, these oxalic acid vaporizers before you put those on. Okay. Uh, explain to us uh, how the idea came and uh, which one uh, is it, uh, 9 volt and which one is or 12 volt and which one is AC. The government now says that we can vaporize oxalic acid vaporize our bees and treat them for mites. And uh, we, we've been taught that it's a, a, a three, three process, we treat them once every uh, seven days. Um, and uh, uh, the results uh, appear to be very effective uh, in killing most of the, most of the mites. And uh, we'll be sticking mite boards in here in just a bit. Um, uh, the vaporizers, all it is is oxalic acid that, 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 that we made. You can see on the YouTube, do it yourself, very simple. I have a, a, a 110 one here um, that uh, got some bath and body. This is 110, got it hooked into an inverter. Um, that's 799 for the vaporizer. And the 12 volt, the 12 volt, um, uh, I recommend ordering online down in California. That's, that's about four bucks. So that's about all I have invested in this. Uh, is the, is the, uh, uh, the uh, immersion heaters. Um, I have widened them out a little bit to fit the... Uh, explain, the explain the spike. The spike? Yeah. The, uh, uh, the, uh, the immersion heaters isn't quite wide enough to, to fit the three quarter inch copper tap, uh, cap in. So uh, either use a, a logger's marlin spike or, or a metal rod with the uh, tip uh, uh, ground down to a point to shove into, into these. And I just took a box end wrench and hammered it down over the edge of it just to widen it out just a hair so that you can, you can force fit the copper cap in there. And it'll stay right in there real nice. And you had to do some shaving on the cap? Yeah, in addition, correct? in addition, had to cut the height down just to hair to, to fit into the hive entrance. Uh, and even at that, uh, I'm guessing we're going to have to prop it up just to hair to be, be able to clear it in. And the handles are made of? This is just a barbecue, uh, <laughs> barbecue. Handy dandy skew, stuff. Skew, skew it, sticks. Huh? This is some old rake, made, rake metal, roofing rake metal, that uh, I've, um, um, uh, riveted into it and uh, the, the thinking on here is when I put this into the entrance this will block the air. Uh, uh, you want to cut down all the outside air that you can and close it either with duct tape or whatever. I did take all the blocking out of the, out of the top of the, the uh, uh, moisture boards which was I use as a spacer for ventilation so the telescoping lids are fitting down tight. Uh, the uh, the uh, mite boards to test to see for results has been sprayed with Pam spray. I cleaned them off a bit, and we'll slick up in there and to block off the bottom air airflow. Pretty slick. And we'll check these in 24 hours. To see where we stand and how, how much, how many mics we have. That's a different, this is a different bottom board that I'm going to have to, oh no. I can put it in from the back. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
And there's Mr. Gottfried. Are you still recording? Yes. Okay. Well, I was talking to several people about, uh, you know, using oxalic acid. And several of them that had done it already said they were worried about the fact that when they were fumigating, that a lot of the vapors were coming out through the bottom and had a hard time sealing it off. So they were afraid the vapor wasn't rising up through the high body and things like that. So I decided that what I'm going to try to do when I do mine is I'm going to take an inner lid like this and then I'm just going to cut strips that fit on there to make the inner lid high enough so it can serve as an entrance. And then what I'll do is just seal off the opening here. Oh, there you go. I'll have the thick base like this. I'll ah. take the, the hive body off the base, base, stick this in there for treatment, and I've got enough space here when it's furred that it should go in there, go in there, and then all the vapors will go up and none of them will come out of the bottom. Well, look at that. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. Just uh, to assure that my vapors are all staying inside the hive body and not uh, drifting out through the bottom. Now, now, I have a question. I heard it recommended to do one gram per box. One gram of a... That's exactly what I was about to ask. Uh, the and, measurements. And the measurements I, on the I, oxalic acid itself. And since I got two boxes, should I use two grams for this application? I think you can use up to two, but if you're going to do multiple applications, I think one at a time is enough. We'll do they, they recommend that uh, a teaspoon is about a gram. Now, what I did... I brought an electronic balance with me, so we're going to check it this morning to see okay. if a teaspoon is a gram. Okay, and I and I and I checked on my scale, and I got a, uh, found out that a quarter teaspoon on my scales was a gram. Really? Let's take a look. Let's go check. Let's I go. I got the scale right here. All right. <laughs> you going to do it uh, over here, or you going to come back over? Well, we can check. Yeah, we can check over at the. Uh, okay. I. Check. Okay, so what we'll do is, so we don't mess that up, we'll turn on the balance, then we just put the oxalic acid on there. Okay, and we'll lay that on there, and we see that's 1.63 grams. So let's put in a quarter teaspoon and see that is about, see if that's about a gram. Quarter teaspoon. It's just about a gram. So let, me, let, me come over, let me come over there and check that out. Well, looky there. The paper itself was 1.63 grams, and now with a quarter teaspoon, it's 2.55. So we're eight one hundredths of a gram difference. Oh, which is close enough. Yeah. Yeah. For us backyard scientists. So, so, so the first, our first application. Then we're going to do one gram per per hive to per colony. Okay. And you know what we can do by doing one one gram. If we if we decide we need to go up to two grams, we'll be able to tell that after the second application. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what's your plan, Herb? Do you want to look at them first before you fumigate them, or do you want to fumigate them? I would recommend that we look at them first, because uh, right now, because the morning is cool, they're going to be clustered tight. We want them separated a little bit. It's warming up, so if we look at them, they'll be spread out a little bit, and there's a better chance that the vapor will get up in there and, and cover that Let's, area better. Well, there you go. Let's look Sounds at like it. a plan. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do here... Oh, sorry about that is we're going to cut strips to fit this board here all the way across. It should be... Uh, so, we're going to put duct tape over this so that the item atomizer will fit right in here and it'll have enough, enough space. He's going to cut the board right now. AC one, how about the DC one? Will that fit in there? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, because he's for a minute. Okay, what we've done is we've taken a 
uh, an inner cover, and we have put. We furred it. We yeah, and we furred it. We put uh, strips around here, so that so that these will slide right in there. We're going to cover this up with duct tape. Put the hive on top of that. Call it good. You know, no vapors will go down. Yeah, yeah, no vapors will go down with the uh, with the screen bottom boards. Yeah. That's that's excellent. Okay, now we're going to move over to this hive. Now let me get another stand. Well, or we want to keep it near the same place. We'll keep it in the same place. All we need to do is lift that off there. You, you can take the lid off. Set the super or take the moisture board off. Like that. I'm going to move around here. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Work on it. Okay, now we can just take the this ground super. is not very and temporarily set it right on top of your moisture board. This one? Yeah, we, we want to disrupt them as little as possible. And then what we'll do is we will just lift this straight up, put our vaporizer board on there and set it right down on top of that. And now we have a nice tight fit. When we vaporize, all the vapor will go up. Set that back on. And we're going to change Oops. We're going to change Herb's name from Herb to Vapor Vic. Vapor Vic. Vapor Vic. <laughs> I like that. Let's see, I want to make sure this is tight. Well, it act actually is. I guess it actually is. Yeah. Well, if it gets up there that far, you know that it's completely fumigated. You don't need to worry about it. Now, now, do you are you going to crack the back of that so that you can see the vapors coming up, or do you know that? Vapors are just going to go up in there. Well, I, I assume the vapors are just going to go up in there. That'll work. Which way is the wind blowing? I don't <laughs> see any. I, I don't feel any wind. Were, were you at the last meeting when I was talking about beekeeping back in the 60s? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember when, when we went out and old Ray, there would be a diseased hive and, and he'd get out the cyanide. You know, he'd always say, now if it starts smelling like almonds, get out of here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see this one. I'm going to change these around so I got a little bit more slack. Okay, he's hooking them up to the tester on. He's hooking them up, the battery on his car. Uh, the and larger. A little rag or something just, just stick right over that opening. The larger cables yeah, that's fine. are. Okay. Hooked what, up what we may want to, to the, the inverter on the table for the other one. That, uh, that duct tape. Sitting on that duct tape. Yeah. You There's know. the wood bleach or okay. oxalic acid. And did well, you bring the other way? Did you bring some uh, burlap and just stick that in there? And the other way we could do that is take this thing off. Set this. Oh, well, I can't go underneath it. No. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll go get some burlap. I'll get a rag. Yeah. All right. Well, that fits right in there, and that that piece of flashing, I guess, is supposed to slide right underneath it, but with the and with that shim that we made, we could lift the shim up and push it in there, but. But then I, we would, would I would prefer that what we do is keep it out a little ways and move it sideways so that hot cup's not right above the duct tape. I'd hate to have it get so hot that the duct tape. tape melts or starts on fire. Yeah. We don't need a fire in there. No. <laughs> no. Now, the, only, the only challenge now, we don't have a mic cord to check on our tail. Well, well once, we, once, we, uh, once we do this, we can lift, we can do the same thing. We can wait a while. And lift it, up. lift it up, slide the mic board in. Yeah. yeah. Right on right under right uh, underneath that right above you that could, shim. You could you could slip the mic board in right now. Yeah. We're not blocking it. You could slip the mic board in right now. On the back side, yeah. Yeah. Is it pretty clean? Eh, somewhat. 
and you've got Pam on that, correct? Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have cleaned it then. We could have said, we got lots of them, even though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, this is the first time I've, I've seen the oxalic acid done live. Uh, Me too. Uh, uh, as far as, as treatments go, uh, I use a, a fogger uh -huh. with mineral oil uh -huh. and a couple drops of wintergreen. Huh. And I just, uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good knockdown effect. Uh -huh. It greases up the bees, the, the mites fall like, uh, like rain uh -huh. on, the, on the, the bottom board, uh -huh. yeah, on, on the sticky board, and it's like, uh, it's black. Here, I'm gonna move down. Watch I'm gonna, the alchemist at work. Yeah. Slide that off clean. No, this was not manufactured in a trailer in the back lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly one, what is that, a quarter, quarter teaspoon? One, one quarter teaspoon. One quarter teaspoon mm -hmm. equals one gram. We've already figured that out. Okay, let's slide it just a little bit so it's not above that. See, since we're going to plug it with a rag, you can slant it just a little bit so it's not above that. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go with some, uh, some rags to cover up that hole. We can slide it back and forth so we don't set the duct tape on fire. And the poor bees are in there panicking. Yeah. Oh, it's a gas chamber. Fire's <laughs> not good. <laughs> oh, shreds. Now we got to. I got to set the timer here. Okay. Uh, uh, two minutes. Two minutes. You you got you got. Uh, let's see. I got to find my clock. Oh, there it is. Office. All right, clock. Okay, can someone see in the... In the oh, you, make a, make a, sh a shadow, okay. Okay, you, you got it covered? Do, no, do you have it? What's you that? Timer? Stop, timer? Start your stopwatch. And I'll just, wa I'll just look at, at your time when you, when you start. Okay. All you have to do is start the time. Just start right Okay. that little green button. Okay. Or I can hold my breath and as soon as I fall over it's two minutes. <laughs> You're gonna put on your gas mask there. Yeah, we gotta show up safety procedures. Yeah, okay. safety procedures. It's coming this way, so I'm gonna be over there by Linda. The wind is coming this way from the south, so I am going to the south of the. All right. Uh, where'd you get that gas mask? Uh, uh, Jim, <coughs> the neighbor. Oh, has he? Does he do painting or something? No, he got this from his son. His son works up at the Martin up there. Okay. Can you breathe okay? Giant ant. And safety, <laughs> you put your hand over the end and you suck out. You make sure it's tight. Giant ant, scare the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft is behind a lot of trees. I am okay. a man scientist. <laughs> man. <laughs> what goes there? Hey, start. And starting Whoops. now. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. I lost the I lost the fog. Tell me when you're good. Okay, good. And we go for how long? Two minutes. Two minutes. I lost 5130. Cody still has his clock yep. going. And the bees can't get in. You know why? I have a little timer on my toothbrush. We could have set it. It goes oh. off in two minutes. Cody, Cody's got it. Commando Cody. Mm-hmm. I can't get in the air. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, I got me. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Been, been around a minute now, right? One minute has gone by. 
If it goes over just a hair, that's okay. Because it, it'll just continue to finish right. vaporizing. Right. Okay, let's I'm not seeing any fumes. There's a lot more activity up towards the back side of the hive. Yeah. So you can tell that they're they're rowdy. Now the bee population here is not real high, so we probably won't see a big drop. Where I'm expecting a pretty good size drop is in Jim's hive. Ten more seconds. And now, that's been two okay. minutes. Disconnect, Vic. Two minutes, five. And let's double check. Double check. Let's hope it's all laid up. Yeah. And now we're checking to see if the. I smell the fumes. And are we empty? We're empty. And there you go. Looks like there's a little bit on the plastic uh, piece there that's starting to recrystallize. So yeah. Don't touch it. It's right on the end here, I think. Uh -huh. It worked. Yeah. Yay! We have liftoff, gentlemen. Well, I smell a little bit of hot plastic. I'm a little worried about uh, how close that is to the handle. See, see where you got some plastic meltdown? Oh, yeah. From the hot element? Yeah. Actually, I think it's from the uh, from the barbecue skewer. The barbecue skewer got no. hot, started to melt. No, right. Yeah, I, I think I think what happened is this loop and the copper in it has enough mass to the metal that it gives off a lot of heat and mm. it's melted at the end of the see it, plastic. See it uh, uh, turn it up. See, it, see it melted at the end. Uh huh. Well, it looks like we're going to have to fix that. Either that or go about 10 seconds less. Yeah. Let me see this. Mm -hmm. oh. Now you can see here on the back side where it's a little melted. And then if you look directly here, you can see where, now, where it's a, fairly melted. We're going to have to figure something out there on that one. maybe a solution. Uh, here, let me take this off. Here's, here might be our solution. The 110 unit is farther away from yeah. the plastic. Yes, it is. Yes. And now then when I did that one, when I did that one, I redid this to clamp it. So let me go look at the sample that I have. Okay. Okay. That is hive number one. Okay. Battery's going to be getting low. Uh, we're going to hook up these to the battery it comes over here to the inverter okay we better get going because these bees are coming and going okay i will i'll hook it up uh, uh, hold, hold that right there i'm going to get a stand to sit so. i'll just hold it oh, sorry I, about I this ladies and gentlemen stop. get your mask on i'm setting you down so you can hold it Get your mask okay. on, Herb. Just a minute. Yep. We're using the the 110, which has a longer has a longer neck. Now, does your does your inverter have a switch, an on and off switch? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hook you up. Okay. 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 You're hot. Okay. Start timing. I'm going. I started. Start timing. Okay. Are you timing? I am timing. Okay, started at 115. So by 315 on the on here we should be good. That fits in there. That fits in there all right. Yeah. I'm glad I thought of that idea with that inner lid to just kind yeah. of seal things off.
Yeah, see with the inverter and the 110, it has the longer the longer neck on it, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh. So. Yeah, it's too high, so we could have used two, but there's no bees up there. One will be enough, I think. Mean. One gram. Yeah. Look at how many bees are trying to get back in there. Yeah. That is, uh, that's a very good sign, gentlemen. Very good it's sign. a very good sign. Spring is just around the corner. I mean, look at this beautiful day. Oh, yeah. It's, it's what, 60, 65? Yeah, it's kind of and, supposed to be between 63 and 65. And it, it's February. Yeah. That's awesome right there. How are we doing on time? We have about another minute. Well, 30 seconds. So at 3.15, we're going to stop. Okay, we're at the three minute mark. So just turn it off at, at, uh, when he calls time and we'll leave it in there for a little while. Let it cool in there. Yeah. All right, 3.15. So turn it off. Kick it off. Click. And we'll leave it in there for a minute or so. Let it cool off a little. I heard that. Yeah, arc welding yeah. out there? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, sorry about the, about the uh, moving and all, but as you see, there, I'm standing on a hill. So pretty steep one. <laughs> uh. Okay, after we pull that out, what we'll do is you guys can lift it again. We'll, we'll say ready, set, go, and before you do, take a breath. I'll pull it out, yeah. set it down. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a breath this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's pull, pull it. Let's pull it out and see how the vapor, vaporized. There let's see if it's if it's done vapor better. Vic. Yep, vapor Vic. You got it in there. It should come out. Need me to I'll lift up on the hive. No, no, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Coming. Flat oh, out. they don't like it at. <laughs> And we're not. <coughs> Did it not get hot? No, we still have. Uh, it's still half full. Okay, we're gonna turn this off. Uh, right. My battery's about to die. Uh, I'll just this, take it by uh, hand. Uh, vaporized? Uh, not all of it. No. So maybe. Okay. Heating up like it should. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're.